Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another weekly reading for the month of July. I hope you're all doing well. I hope Cancer season treated you right. Um, I hope that you have all had amazing birthdays. And um, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with every single one of you. Please ignore the little hairs standing up. My hair has a mind of its own and I am self-conscious about it, um, but that's irrelevant. Um, did I say it already? Yeah, readings are general, so it may not resonate with all of you. Do watch your other placements, and let's just see what we have going for you today. A lot of you are really determined to achieve something here, um, and it looks... Mm. Okay, yeah, I think this is definitely a gonna... It's gonna be a relationship reading, I think. Um, definitely about something that you want. And of course, it's gonna fall. Because they always do. Okay. Um, yeah, there's something here about you really wanting to go towards something. But it being kind of like a difficult or lengthy process. Oh, wow. But soon, something is going to shift. Expect a major shift very soon. Okay, interesting. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. You're waiting for something to be 100% clear before you do something. You're waiting for something to finally be revealed. You're waiting for something to come to the light. You're waiting for something to happen. Um, it's honestly as simple as that. You are waiting for something to happen before you make a move, before you make some sort of decision, before you take some sort of action. You're waiting for something to happen. Um, and I feel like you're waiting for something to end. To be specific, I feel like you're waiting for something to end before you can move in and take some sort of action. So let's look at your cards. We have the Knight of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Lovers, the Nine of Wands, the Tower, the Page of Wands, the Star, and the Three of Swords. So right off the bat, as weird as it's going to sound, I feel like this three of swords with the tower is talking about you waiting for an ending to happen for another person. So I feel like you're involved with someone who is currently involved in something else. And you're kind of waiting for that to end so that you can, <clears throat> excuse me, oh my god whoa okay usually when i get choked up um it can mean a lot of things but i what the way that i'm perceiving it intuitively is that a lot of you are having some sort of i don't want to say guilt or shame but it's like you're not proud of the fact that you feel this way you're not proud of the fact that you're waiting for someone's situation to end, you know, you you almost wish it wasn't like that. You almost wish it didn't have to be like that. You you almost wish you weren't part of a third party situation because I do feel like this is a third party situation. So if this, you know, take this how it how it resonates because it is a very specific reading. But I do feel like a lot of you are kind of like waiting for something to end for someone else before you can then step in and take some sort of action towards them. But I do feel like, you know, you have a very real reaction about this and it doesn't feel great, but you can't help but feel the way you feel. You can't help but want to win this person over. You can't help but want to be the one that this person goes to. You cannot help but want to be this person's knight in shining armor, you know, like regardless of what gender you are. But it's just you want to be that person's saving grace. Um, with the knight of swords and the six of wands, I really feel like this is you um, 
you know, choosing to go towards something because you see how amazing it could be. You see the potential in this and you see how successful this relationship could be if it was you and them and not them and the other person, right? So you're in this position of, you know, if it was you and me, we would be so successful, we would be so victorious, we would have, you know, all of the amazing things that come with a relationship. And you're willing to go towards that, you're willing to take that action, you're willing to do whatever it takes to prove to them that you do have, you know, what they're looking for. And I feel like to some extent they see it too. You know, they also, they're, they might be in denial, but they do see your potential. They, they recognize who you are and what, you, what you're all about. Uh, with the lovers and the nine of wands, though, I do feel like this proves um, and it's confirmation that this is not an easy thing to be a part of. This is not an easy situation. You know, you're, you're, at, you're persevering based off of someone else's crossroads, you know, someone else's um, struggling dynamics, right? So you're, you're out here being patient, you're fighting for this, but at the same time, there's something else completely going on separately from you. And that can't be an easy thing to deal with. It's like you're, you know, you're falling for this person who is involved in another situation with someone else, but you're still waiting for that chance. You're still waiting for that opportunity to, you know, make them yours, to prove to them that you're so much better for them than this other person. And that's, that's pretty brave of you, to be honest. Um, with the Page of Wands and the Star, I feel like this is talking about the the hope that you have and also the fact that once you do get the opportunity to do something about this, it's going to be exactly what you imagined that it would be. And I do feel that, you know, this person is going to give you that opportunity as well once things finally fall apart and break down, right? So I do feel like you do have to be very positive and hopeful because it might take some time although I do feel like when it happens it'll happen um, sooner than you think so you might have an idea of when this ending will happen but maybe you know it could either it could go either way it, it could happen sooner than you think or might take a little bit longer but once it does what happens after that ending is probably going to go quickly and I think that once it once it does end, right, and you're given the opportunity to go out there and prove to this person what you're capable of giving them, it will be a very, very beautiful thing. But I, I do sense this needing to be hopeful, needing to be positive about it, needing to, to really just um, be the light for them. Be the light for them too, because at the same time, even though you know what you want from this, they could also hurt from they could hurt after this because no relationship ending um, is a pleasant thing, no matter what you feel for the person that you're ending it with. So no matter how they feel towards this person, whether or not they're actually ready for this to be over, it could still be painful for them. So I think the key thing here and the key thing about this message is that if you are waiting for something to end with another person, be the light for them. Be the thing that motivates them to keep going in, in search of love. Because what if this ends and they're like, I don't care about love anymore. I don't want to do this. I don't want to deal with this again. Be that motivating um, force for them. Be that light. Prove to them that love is still worth searching for. They're, you know, The adventure to a beautiful relationship is still worth going on. Be the light. Oh, wow. That took an interesting turn. Interesting, interesting. Let's clarify... Clarify the tower. And we have the chariot. I, to me, this says that you are the one. You are the one that they are waiting to, to be with, right? So I really feel like the tower is kind of talking about the fact that this needs to end because they also see you as the person they want to be with. They also see you as the person they really, really need to be with. You know, this is talking about the fact that this is going to end no matter what. We don't know how exactly it's going to end. The tower could, could signify so many different types of events, right? But the fact is, no matter what happens, it's going to be you. 
It's going to be you. Let's clarify the Three of Swords. Ooh. So with the Three of Swords, we have the Nine of Cups. I feel like this person is going to get out of this situation because they are no longer satisfied with that relationship. They're no longer satisfied with it because it doesn't align with who they are, who they're becoming, what they want, what they love. I feel like they're with someone that doesn't appreciate their preferences or their desires, someone that doesn't um, really appreciate their worth and someone that doesn't pay them any attention the way that they deserve. And I feel like this person is getting very tired of that because they know what they're capable of and what they're worth and what they deserve and i feel like you you are quite literally um with the page of cups at the bottom of the deck you're you're the one that's kind of showing them like hey if you were with me i'd treat you like this you'd get this um i'd make sure you feel good i, I feel like you've been making this offer towards them or you've been proving them um that they deserve better and they're starting to believe that enough to get out of the situation um, I apologize if you hear any background noises. They are doing some work here. Um, so just throwing that out there. Let's clarify the Nine of Wands. I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. You are being patient. You are waiting. You are trying to stay strong while this goes on, while this process you know finishes you are trying to be patient you are fighting you are persevering and you are hopeful and determined and you will not back down no matter how hard the situation is because you know that in time in time the sun will come out in time things will bloom in time the wheel will turn the wheel of fortune is at the bottom of the deck with the Wheel of Fortune, the Temperance, and the Nine of Wands, this is worth waiting for. This is worth fighting for because eventually things will go in your favor. All right, Cancer, if, there, if this resonated, please hit the like. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.